guys, welcome back to the Jimmy Two Tech channel. Today we have an exciting review video for you. We got the Nocto Folding Ox Fat Tire E-Bike. This has the four inch fat tires, which we love those. They ride better on the sand and everything, especially down here in Florida. Um, this thing is awesome. So we're gonna bust into this, put this together. It does have a little bit of assembly. It needs to be done, like putting on the front tire and things like that. So we're gonna take this out of the box, show you what comes in the box. Then we will put it together and talk to you a little bit more about it. But we definitely wanna show you how to put it together so you're not uh, thrown off by having to put something together a little bit. Packaging. Uh, your box might come with a bunch of like rips and dents in it. it should protect the, the bike should be protected enough, but make sure you do check it. Throw these to the side here. Take out the first thing. Looks like the front tire. Set that to the side. More foam. Oh, we got the handlebars here. Which, what's cool about these kind of handlebars too? They got the BMX style, the BMX style handlebars. Uh, we got the pedals. It looks like a little tool kit. And it also has what is this? This is your charger to charge up your battery. And this thing charges in like four to five hours so it's not too bad let's see if we can get this pulled out of here yeah and then your seat so that's it let's move this out of our way and then we'll continue unwrapping everything let me get this all unwrapped and then uh, we'll show you what's all here all right, guys, we got this all unwrapped. It had a good wrapping everywhere. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. As you can see, the cool step-through design will definitely make you this easier to get on. Um, here's the saddle for it, the seat. It's, it's kind of got a different color. Usually you're seeing them black. This has got that brown, which is different. And what's cool about this seat, too, is it flips up. So when it's in here, you're able to pull your battery on and off if you need to. So that's pretty cool design there, which... Usually the first thing we change on any of these is we put a suspension seat post on. So that'll probably get rid of that. So that might be an issue, but we're going to use this one for now, see what it's like. It also comes with the tools you're going to need to put this together. It comes with, let's see, we got the wrench you're going to need, a couple of them. You got the flat and the Phillips screwdriver. You got your five millimeter Allen. It even comes with an extra fuse, which I believe goes in the battery. So you have those. You got your pedals. So when we go to put these on, you got to pay attention to left and right, to what side they go in. Like I said, your charger, you got your front tire, and you got the fender. What's cool about this tire, which is, it's different. In here, you're seeing these orange, you think they're just part of the metal. It's Actually, I think you feel the tube in there. So the rim actually has holes in it, and it looks like a, a rim liner. And then you can feel the cushion from the tube on the inside. So that's different for sure, but it looks pretty cool. So the first thing we're going to want to do on this, I think, is we're going to want to put that front tire on. So that's what we're going to concentrate on first. Or actually, let's do the steering, the, the uh, handlebars first, because that'll get it up and out of our way. It's going to go in here like this. So we're just going to take that five millimeter Allen, and we are going to pull these four bolts out like this. Pretty simple stuff. And we're gonna set it in there. We're not gonna fully tighten it down because we're gonna wanna make sure it's straight in relation to uh, how we like it. And to the front wheel, so. Once that's loose, you can take the top piece off and make sure your handlebars are straight and none of the things are crooked. We're gonna start it up there. Start one of the bolts here, one on each side. That's You're almost there on the handlebars. So like I said, it's pretty easy install for sure. You just run these four down. Like I said, you don't want them fully tight because you want to make sure they're positioned how you like them when you're sitting on it. We're just going to get them snug down a little bit. Then we'll go on to that front wheel. The front wheel, you got to pay attention because it does have the dual disc brakes on this. You want to make sure that the the disc goes between the brake pads when you mount it on there. And if you've done anything with the e-bikes before, you'll know it's pretty easy to do. 
There we go. We're almost there. We're snugging this down just so it don't fall while we're moving around. Then we'll adjust it and finish our final tightening of it. But for now, yeah, well, a little too loose. I don't want to hit me in the face. There we go. All right, now we're next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this front wheel. All right, now guys, the first thing we're going to do is mount this tire in here, but we want to line this up into the caliper. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. Most of the time you can just slide it in there and get your rotor between the, the brake pads. But I think this time what I'm going to show you is in case you haven't done this before, it makes it easier, you're having difficulties. You can take the caliper off. It's only two bolts. It'll take it off of the holder. You can put the wheel in then put the caliper on after. Most of the videos you see, they'll just show you to slide it in. I'm just going to show you this way just for, just as another way to do it. Like I said, all the tools you need are going to be in that kit. So you just take it off with your Allen key that's included. There's two bolts. Just don't lose any of the washers. There's like three on each one. We're going to have to tip it this way. Then we'll get the, the one at the bottom there. And then I can show you how to adjust them. How to adjust the caliper once you get it on. It's pretty easy. So there's that. See, we got that hanging now. Now our tire should go on fairly easy. We, there's nothing to have to try to line up. Really? We just put it in here. Make sure our washers are set spaced. And just line each side up. You can see right here where you put the, the bolt. You set it in there and then your washer is going to fall into that groove like we were talking about. So we're going to do that to the other side and then we can tighten these down. All right, we got both sides in. Now with the included wrench, we're just going to tighten these down like that. And it is a little easier to put the tire on that way. So you don't have to worry about trying to line that up and stuff and line up the, uh, the bolts on the nuts or the nuts on here, trying to slide it in the forks. So this is just another way. It really only takes a couple minutes extra unless you're having an issue, then it saves you time. So there we go with that. Now what we're going to do on our caliper, we're going to mount this back on there. And you can see these are the two pads. You want to put your rotor between them pads. So we're just going to slip it on like that. Just like that. See how much easier that was? Than trying to line that up. Then we're going to re-bolt it back in. Get them started. Then after we get those started and put in, we'll tighten it down. And I'll show you how to adjust. You don't want to fully tighten them yet because you're going to have to adjust it still. key we're just going to snug it a little just enough so it'll hold once we adjust it and in adjusting it's pretty simple most of the time it's pretty much as simple as holding the brake the brake pedal or the brake lever and that'll kind of center it on your rotor I mean it's worked for us almost every time there's a little blue loctite on the nuts as you or on the bolts as you've seen but there's still some on here so you shouldn't have to add any more I mean the more you take this on and off you might have to Okay, we got that just close and snugged up. Now up here, we're just going to take our, our, our lever. We're going to press that, and if you see down here, whoop, sorry guys, if you press that, it'll center, it'll squeeze this and center it right on our pad or our rotor. Then we're going to tighten this down, and it should hold that position. Get these little snugger so it stays. Don't ever let go of the lever until you're done tightening these down. Otherwise it loses center. One more on this top one. There we go. Now we can let go of that. And right there, it is centered. You can jack it up, you can lift it up and no rubbing. So that is centered on there and that's all there is for that. Now we'll go on to the next thing. All right, we are on to the fender and the light. They kind of mount together. You want to get your fender placed in here where you get the metal here in front. And then we're going to put the sandwich, the light piece in between it. Just put it between the both and screw them in the hole. Then we're going to tighten that down. You can use the Phillips screwdriver to get it close like that. And then it does come with a wrench. You can get a little tighter with that once you make sure your headlights straight. Then we're going to come down here 
on this side and where, there's little screws down here you're going to unscrew those or use your wrench we'll use the wrench because that screw is pretty tight and we're going to loosen those and that's what's going to go through here and mount these so let's get these mounted up we're going to do that on both sides and then our fender will be mounted probably got loctite on these ones too i know a couple of the other bolts we've messed with had loctite so that's good i guess Just like that. You're going to do the same thing on both sides, guys. And then your fender will be mounted. So let me finish this up. We'll go to the next thing. All right, next step we're going to go on to is the pedals. Now, when you pull the pedals out of the package, in the end of the pedals, you're going to see an R and an L. So for left and right, we're going to take our right side because that's the side we're doing right now. We're just going to spin it in there. Just like that. And then we'll take our wrench and we'll tighten that down and then we're going to do the same for the other side and then with that your pedals are mounted and then we can go on to mountain whatever's next we're tightening this down like i said it did include the included wrench or it does have the wrenches you're going to need so we got that side done uh, it looks like pretty good grips on the pedal too i know some of the other ones we had they were kind of slippery so we'll we'll see but it looks pretty grippy and they are folding pedals which um, make it easier when you're folding this bike up to put in the car, which we'll show you that. We're, gonna, we're going to fold it up, put it in the car, see how easy it is. So we're going to go on to the next side, put that pedal on, and we'll go to the next thing. All right, guys, we got almost everything on here. Our last thing, for the most part, is going to be our seat. Uh, we, like I said, we'll probably change this later because we like the uh, suspension seat post. But for now, we're just going to put that in there. You can just adjust your height where you want it. Then you just close this here. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, make sure you're clear of the battery and that'll get your seat in place and if you need to tighten that you just loosen this open it up and then tighten this nut we'll just open it up we tighten this nut a little bit and then you squeeze it back down that makes your seat tighter and there's that let's flip up so you can take your battery off um, if this becomes in the way you just you can rotate that a little bit to get that out of your way so you can pull the battery but like i said we're probably going to be changing this out so we're not worried about that too much we need the suspension seat post on there. Well, there you have it, guys. The Nacto Folding Ox Fat Tire E-Bike. It is a pretty sleek looking bike. And what, the thing that's nice about this, it works for a variety of ages and abilities because it does have the step, step through here and it holds 400 pounds. So the step through makes this really easy. And one thing you notice on this one that you don't notice on a lot of the e-bikes is the BMX style handlebars. They're pretty easy to hold. They work pretty good. It depends on what style you like. You can put a little uh, phone mount here or something like that if you wanted to or it's a good spot for that uh, It does have a 750 watt peak motor, which means it's 500 sustained and it with 52 newton meters of torque Most of us don't even know what that means But it has a little bit more torque and it has the 48 volt or the yeah, the 48 volt 12 amp Battery so that's pretty good and it charges in about I don't know four to five hours Which we're gonna be doing that here so we can get on the road with it. It does come with a little charge if you wanted to You know try it out after you put it together but we're going to give it a full charge before we get going. It's supposed to have a range of 60 miles, but from our experience on these, you'll never get 60 miles um, unless you got a lot of downhill and no uphill, which I don't know if that's even possible. But uh, they still give you a pretty good range if you're you know, just tooling around trying to get somewhere. It has a max speed of 28 miles an hour because it is a class three. Um, and you can adjust all that here on the screen. We can show you that later where you just pick your pedal assist levels one through five, and then you can get through it all like that and then uh it does have, like i said the 20 by 4 fat tires which thing that's cool on these where you see this orange that is the tube you can feel it it's spongy it's different i mean and then it puts a little pop of color in there and of course you got the front suspension which i love to have the suspension on these that's why we're going to put the post but the front suspension is nice and it does have the dual disc brakes they are mechanical which is more than enough to stop these i mean you could change them over to hydraulics pretty easily it's not that bad um some of the other features is on here it does have a six-speed transmission a lot of the other ones you see seven but I, I think for where this is in its class six will will probably be all right for you and then it does have a nice display here which will give you your mileage there's a trip on it and all that stuff uh it's not colored or anything but it, it's a pretty nice display and another cool thing is the horn 
Let me see. Where's my key? I'm going to get the key. Oop, key. And then uh, it has a cute little horn for you. So you can hear that. Oh, yeah, I got to turn it on here. Forgot about that. One of our other ones will beep without it. There it is. I mean, it's okay. I mean, if you beep it slow, you can back up. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature on there. Uh, some, something else, like I said, the different is the seat. The, the color is just normally see the black seats. The brown seat is different. Has a nice little rack. If you see any of our other bike videos, we did mount a, a crate on the back of one of our other racks. That's a useful thing. And that was our other step through model. So it lets you go to the store, carry back some groceries or anything like that. It also has the Shimano. I think that's Shimano, right? Yeah, it's the Shimano uh, card system there with all the, the stuff we'll show you. We'll give you close-ups of this stuff. And it does have the headlight. Oh, I forgot to tighten that up. But you tighten your headlight, you can aim that anywhere you want. In relation to what you're doing, we'll just, you just tighten this down here. And then you can aim this where you want it when you're going down the road. They're not aggressively bright, but they're bright enough for you. And then this does, this is the folding model. We're going to show you that. We're going to put it in the back of the SUV. And it folds right up. The bars don't fold, but this will fold in half. And then the ends of the pedals fold in for ease of getting it in and out. All right, just a quick note for you guys. We wanted to show you this going in the back of an SUV. This is a small SUV, but it folds up nicely and goes in here. One thing would be nice if the handlebars folded down, but it does come with the tools, so you can just loosen a couple of the bolts and it'll fold right down. And it'll fit in there a little better, but it fits right in there. Like I said, this is a small SUV, but it fits in there pretty good. So it is doable. And it's, it's really not that heavy. I mean, you got a little weight in the back because of the motor. Uh, one thing you want to check before you go on a ride is your air tire pressure. I think this is between 20 and 30 pounds. I normally run them about 18 to 20 is where I like them because it gives you a little softer of a ride. But uh, overall, pretty nice bike. We're excited to get out here and put some uh, seat time on it. Um, stay tuned for our other videos too because we're going to be putting a couple accessories on here like we always do. Probably like a phone mount, the suspension seat post, maybe a bottle holder or something to hold our water, water bottle or something like that. And then uh, we'll also get some of that time. You'll see us take it out, ride it around. We'll put some miles on it, and we'll report back to you guys, let you know how it's doing. Uh, there's a couple things on it that uh, you want, like on the side, we'll show you the close-up of that. The uh, One of the gears for the chain looks looks to be like plastic. I'm not sure how that'll hold up, but it might hold up pretty good. We're going to give it a try. We'll let you guys know. Again, guys, don't forget about the one-year limited warranty on this and also has the free delivery, very minimal setup. If you guys have any questions on this that I could possibly answer, and if I don't know the answer, I'll get the answer for you, you can message us down below. Um, it's a pretty cool bike. We'll have more answers for you once we take it for a ride, so if we don't get to it right away, we might still be doing some testing and stuff on this. Um, if you guys haven't done so already, please just go down below, click that subscribe button. It helps the algorithm, lets everybody know you're enjoying our content. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That also helps the channel. I will leave links to this and anything we do to the bike down below. There'll probably be affiliate links through Amazon or something. We appreciate that support. That helps us directly. It doesn't, doesn't affect you at all. Uh, and until next time, guys, I want to thank you for watching and try something new. Okay.